A hallmark sign of Alzheimer's disease is the formation of clusters of misfolded proteins both inside and outside of neurons. One of these proteins, amyloid beta protein, is found in the extracellular space around neurons in a healthy brain. During Alzheimer's, however, misfolded forms of amyloid beta clump together in deposits called amyloid plaques. Another protein called tau protein, which is normally found inside neurons and involved in maintaining neural structure, is also found in a misfolded state in Alzheimer's. It accumulates inside neurons in bundles called neurofibrillary tangles. Although amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles are hallmark signs of Alzheimer's disease, it is unclear if they contribute to the neurodegeneration or are a part of the brain's response to it. A hallmark Although the cause of Alzheimer's disease isn't completely understood, two major players that are often cited in its progression are plaques and tangles. Alright, so here we've got this cell membrane of a neuron in the brain. In the membrane, you've got this molecule called amyloid precursor protein, or APP. One end of this guy's in the cell, and the other end's outside the cell. It's thought that this guy helps the neuron grow and repair itself after an injury. Since APP is a protein, just like other proteins, it gets used and over time it gets broken down and recycled. Normally, it gets chopped up by an enzyme called alpha-secretase, and its buddy, gamma-secretase. This chopped up peptide's soluble and goes away, and everything's all good. If another enzyme, beta-secretase, teams up with gamma-secretase instead, then we've got a problem. And this leftover fragment isn't soluble, and creates a monomer called amyloid beta. These monomers tend to be chemically sticky and bond together just outside the neurons, and form what are called beta amyloid plaques, these clumps of lots of these monomers. These plaques can potentially get between the neurons, which can get in the way of neuron-to-neuron -neuron signaling. If the brain cells can't signal and relay information, then brain functions like memory can be seriously impaired. It's also thought that these plaques can start up an immune response and cause inflammation, which might damage surrounding neurons. Here's an image of amyloid plaque on histology. These clumps are buildups of beta amyloid, and this is happening outside the cells. Another big part of Alzheimer's disease, though, are tangles, and these are actually found inside the cell, as opposed to the beta amyloid plaques. Just like other cells, neurons are held together by their cytoskeleton, which is partly made up of microtubules, these track-like structures that essentially act like a minecart shipping nutrients and molecules along the length of the cell. A special protein called tau makes sure that these tracks don't break apart, kind of like railway ties. Although, again, it's not completely understood, it's thought that the beta amyloid plaque buildup outside the neuron initiates pathways inside the neuron that leads to activation of kinase, an enzyme that transfers phosphate groups to the tau protein. The tau protein then changes shape, stops supporting the microtubules, and clumps up with other tau proteins and gets tangled, and leads to the other characteristic finding of Alzheimer's disease, neurofibrillary tangles. Neurons with tangles in non-functioning microtubules can't signal as well, and sometimes end up undergoing apoptosis, or programmed cell death. Here's an image of histology showing these neurofibrillary tangles formed inside the neuron. As neurons